Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Supreme Court observations on Article 370. And all of you know that Supreme Court completely, you know, like agreed with the Government of India decision regarding the Article 370 abolition. So Supreme Court supported the abolition of Article 370. And we are going to discuss about many more that thing. This judgment is given by Constitutional Bench. And you all know that Constitutional Bench generally led by CJI. And the minimum strength of constitutional bench is 5. First, let us see what topics we are going to discuss in this video. Then, I will give the conceptual clarity regarding this particular issue. First, let me go through the, let me help you in this, the issues which are going to be discussed in this video. We will we'll discuss about Supreme Court verdict on Article 370. Supreme Court supported the Article 370 abolition. Even Supreme Court supported the, the division of Jammu Kashmir state into JNK as well as Ladakh. But the only caveat is Supreme Court ordered the government as soon as, okay, as soon as try to restore the statehoodship to the Jammu Kashmir and conduct the elections to Jammu Kashmir Assembly by 2024 September. Those are the observations from the Supreme Court. And we will discuss about how the Jammu Kashmir, you know, like uh, integrated into India. Then Article 370 and its significance. Then what is Article 35A? An argument in favor of repealing of Article 370 and arguments which are criticizing the repeal of Article 370 and finally we will discuss the conclusion. So these are the topics we are going to discuss in this video. And this video is related to UPSC Mains Gender Studies Paper 2, Indian Polity and Governance. First, why we are discussing this particular topic in today's video? First, you have to understand Supreme Court given a judgment. What is the judgment? Supreme Court supported the government of India decision of abolition of Article 370. First, you have to understand what is this Article 370. Article 370 is a special provision related to Jammu Kashmir. Okay? And you have to understand how this came into existence. For that, we have to go through background information. Now, let's see. If you go back, when Britishers left India, at that time, India consists of two parts. One is the princely state, the other one is the British India. Princely states, they are given three options before them. Those three options before the princely states are, they can remain independent, they can join with India or they can join with Pakistan. But here, the Jammu Kashmir ruler, Raja Hari Singh, actually Jammu Kashmir kingdom is having a peculiar condition that majority of the people belong to Islamic religion and the ruler is Hindu ruler. He decided to remain as independent state. But meanwhile, Pakistan tried to take advantage out of it and Pakistan tried to attack the Jammu Kashmir kingdom. In, out of the panic, Raja Hari Singh, he approached government of India and he made agreement that is an instrument of accession with government of India in 1947. In 1948, he established interim government in Jammu Kashmir and the interim government were led by then Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Sheikh Abdullah, the Farooq Abdullah's party, Sheikh Abdullah. And later, the next year in 1949, when the Constituent Assembly was working on the Constitution at that time, from Jammu Kashmir, three members, they were nominated. They were nominated or they were elected to Constituent Assembly and they negotiated, they negotiated for a special articles to Jammu Kashmir people that resulted to the existence of Article 370. And this is how Article 370 came into existence in Indian Constitution in 1950. In 1952, there was an agreement between the Jammu Kashmir government as well as Delhi government which resulted to in 1954 Article 35A in the Jammu Kashmir constitution. What is that Article 35A in the Jammu Kashmir constitution is talking about? We will see very soon. Now, anyhow, first let us try to understand what is this Article 370 is all about. Article 370 is a temporary provision and which is giving special rights to Jammu Kashmir. According to Article 370, Jammu Kashmir can have separate flag, separate citizenship and it can also have separate constitution also. In the Jammu Kashmir separate constitution, one article is there that is Article 35A. It was added in 1954 after the agreement between the government of India and Jammu Kashmir government. This Article 35A is giving special provisions regarding the property rights to Jammu Kashmir people. According to Article 35A, other than Jammu Kashmir permanent resident, they cannot buy property in Jam Jammu and Kashmir. Even other, out other than Jam JNK people, they cannot claim any scholarship in Jammu Kashmir. And if Jammu Kashmir women married to outside of the Jammu Kashmir people, they will lose all the property rights. 
these kind of strict norms were there in article 35a now what is the issue now the issue is recently government of india in 2019 they given two presidential orders and they also enacted two acts these two president orders one president order abolish the article 370 and the another president order abolish the article 35a and two acts one act bifurcated the jammu kashmir into j and k and ladakh and the another act is allowed the extension of reservations to jammu kashmir as well like article 15 article 16 and the ews reservation they were extended to jammu kashmir all these four things were occurred in 2019 all these four things now they were challenged in the supreme court that they are constitutionally invalid but supreme court given a judgment that these are constitutionally valid okay this activities of this activities of government of india are constitutionally valid why because article 370 was was enacted in the indian constitution to facilitate the jammu kashmir integration into india so article 370 must be facilitator in role it should not act like a obstacle with respect to jammu kashmir integration to india and the article 370 is temporary in nature and supreme court also observed that jammu kashmir don't enjoy the full sovereignty because jammu kashmir also comes under the article 1 definition article 1 is saying that india is a union of states and no state has a right to see secede or ceded away from the government of india or union of states and one more thing supreme court also clearly mentioned that by next year september 2024 election commission of india should conduct election to jammu kashmir assembly and supreme court also supported the way how the jammu kashmir reorganized into j and k and ladakh supreme court clearly mentioned that in this process of division of j and k into jammu kashmir and ladakh this process does not require the consent from the jammu kashmir assembly as well as consent from the jammu kashmir people it is completely the authority of union government with this authority given to union government according to article 3 so these are the observations of supreme court and you have to understand now why we are discussing the context is constitution bench they supported the abolition of article 370 and they also mentioned that article 370 is a temporary provision and they also supported the reorganization of j and k and ladakh under article 3 next the jammu kashmir constitution under the jammu kashmir constitution article 3 is saying that jammu kashmir is a part of india that means jammu kashmir comes under the definition of article 1 that means they cannot have separate sovereignty the judgment given by five judges they are cj d v chandrachud justice gavai justice suryakant Justice S K Kaul and Justice Sanjeev Khanna. These are the honourable judges in the bench. Next, the orders as well as the acts which were enacted in 2019 we discussed already. And Jammu Kashmir integrated to India in 1947 through instrument of accession. According to this, all the with respect to all the matters, Jammu Kashmir will have independence except to three things. They are foreign affairs, defence, and communication. Except to these three things, Jammu Kashmir has full sovereignty in the rest of the areas and later in 1952 there was an agreement between the delhi as well as jammu kashmir government because of that in 1954 article 35a was added into the jammu kashmir constitution and we also discuss about what is this article 370 given this article 370 allowed jammu kashmir to have separate laws regarding the citizenship separate constitution separate flag and all these things then in 1954 article 35a was added article 35a allowed okay only jammu kashmir people they can have a permanent resident in the state though they only can buy the land they only can have government jobs and they can only have government scholarship because of these things private investment from outside of the jammu kashmir they did not much happen in the jammu kashmir that is also one of the reason government abolition of article 370 even this article 35a not allowed females of jammu kashmir to marry outsiders and claiming the property rights next criticism of article 35a because of all these limitations article 35a seems to be so discriminatory in nature and because of article 35a even the economic growth of the jammu kashmir is also slowed down because of these reasons demands started regarding the revocation of article 35a and article 370 after article 370 was abolished all the central as well as state laws started applying to jnk now the local i mean reservations 
which are applicable in the entire India, they, are, they started applicable to JNK. JNK assembly duration reduced from 6 years to 5 years. JNK do not have any separate constitution. JNK do not have separate norms regarding the citizenship regarding the citizenship and JNK UT it will be ruled by lieutenant governor and the elected governments they have to give all the updates regarding the state administration to lieutenant governor lieutenant governor next rational behind this move because of this discrimination provided by article 370 and article 35 a article 370 was removed by government of India so that more jobs creation can be done socio-economic infrastructure can be established and outsiders can buy land within the JNK. Arguments in favor of Article 370, whoever supported this economic development in JNK and whoever felt Article 370 is discriminatory in nature, all those people supported the scrapping of Article 370. Of course, certain people even they criticized the abolition of Article 370 on the basis of what and the basis that when the Article 370 was revo revoked. The consent of the Jammu Kashmir Assembly was not obtained. At that time, Jammu Kashmir Assembly was not in existence and President rule was there in the Jammu Kashmir. So, this is undemocratic in nature. This is the excess of executive action. These are some of the criticism on the revocation of Article 370 and all those criticisms were addressed by Supreme Court today and Supreme Court upheld the validity of Article 370 revocation. This criticism we discussed. What is the conclusion? The conclusion is well, uh, when Jammu Kashmir joined with India through instrument of accession that was temporary in nature and constitution did not expect that kind of provisions given to any state because Indian constitution did not expect the expected to form the loose federation. Indian constitution always expected the constitution and the nation with the union of states, not the federation of states. So, according to constitution also, these provisions are temporary in nature and they are going to be scrapped at one point of time. So, the, based on these reasons, Supreme Court upheld the Article 370 revocation. Then, yesterday's MCQ, what does the DRESS syndrome stands for? DRESS syndrome stands for drug reaction with eosinophilia and system, systematic, systematic symptoms. DRESS, yesterday we discussed and we will see the today's video question. Which statement is not correct about the Jammu Kashmir? Go through these four statements and pick the incorrect statement regarding the Jammu Kashmir. Main question. Discuss the impact of abrogation of Article 370 in India. What is the imp impact? Do you think it will help India to resolve the Jammu Kashmir dispute? Do you really think that? Does it helps to resolve the dispute? I mean, Jammu Kashmir dispute. Okay. As we reach to the end of this video, in this video, we mainly discussed about how the Article 370 came into existence. What, what are these features offered by Article 370? On what grounds Supreme Court supported the revocation of Article 370? And Article 370 revoked by two president orders and two acts. Then criticism against the revocation of Article 370 and arguments in favor of revocation of Article 370 we discussed. And this is the detailed analysis regarding the Supreme Court judgment on Article 370 revocation. Thank you.